All right, so let's talk about the different frequencies of tidal uh, cycles. Uh, we have what is called the diurnal tidal cycle. First of all, diurnal, uh, as a word, means happening during the day. So in, in, in diurnal tides, that's where you have uh, one high tide and one low tide within a 24-hour uh, period. That means in one day, you have just one high tide and one low tide. There is another kind called the semi-diurnal uh, tidal cycle or semi-diurnal tide. And that's where you have, uh, in, in 24 hours, you have two high tides and two low tides of almost equal, uh, you know, sizes in tidal heights. So tidal height will be, you know, the vertical elevation from this point to this point. Uh, so in this case, you have near equal uh, tidal height for both the high tide phase and the low tide phase. There is yet another variant of, um, you know, the semi diurnal tide, which is called the mixed semi diurnal tidal cycle. And that's where you have two high tides and two low tides in one day. But the difference here is that the tidal high heights vary from one, from one to the other. It's almost different for the different cycles of both high tide and low tide. And that, uh, that is what some, some authors will refer to as semi as diurnal inequality. So this map is just showing the distribution of you know the different uh, tides uh, and around the globe. What you quickly notice here is that we have the dominance of semi-diurnal and uh, mixed semi-diurnal tides. So uh, what that means is that for the most case in most business of the world or most um, you know beaches or coastal areas of the world, you have uh, in a 24-hour window, you have two high tides and two low tides for the most um, for most locations yeah so this is just showing again an example of you know what a particular location looks like during the low tide which is on the left and the high tide same location but what you notice is that during the low tide it's it's all dried up the, the water levels it's down at its minimal and during the high tide uh, the same location is flooded and you you see that most of what was originally exposed is now buried underwater.